Okay, guys, I'm going to be... Hold on, hold on, in the frame. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to connect the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller to f PC Fortnite. So you can connect your controller if you're a controller player and you want to connect your Switch Pro Controller, which I have right now, to your PC. Yes. Now I know it. Yes, it should look like this right now. So, what you first have to do, as you can see I'm doing on the screen, is type up Bluetooth in your little bar down there. I don't know where I'm pointing, but somewhere over there. Maybe there. I don't know. But on the screen, what's popped up, B-L-U-E-T-O-O-T-H, that's how you spell it. Then you want to click open. Once you have it here, you want to hit it. Add a Bluetooth or other device. My controller is not connected yet, so I'm going to show you connecting it. So you click Bluetooth, and then for your Switch Pro controller, you have to press on the sync button up here, and it's going to pop up. It's going to keep going. It's going to pop up soon. You just have to keep holding it down. And it found my Pro Controller, as you can see. I'm gonna click the Pro Controller and it's gonna say connecting. You wanna press a button so you see the green light. Once it's done, it's ready. See, I can use it as my mouse. But now the question is for Fortnite. You have it connected, you can use your Pro Controller set up and ready to go. That was just, telling me it was ready to go. So now you have to go to Steam, which is what I'm using to connect the Pro Controller to Fortnite. So once you get to Steam, you want to hit add a game. Add a non-Steam game. So for, you want to get Epic Games. My thing is not on there, as you can see. If you look, no Epic Games should be like right over here. But I already have it added in my library, Epic Games Launcher. So I'm gonna go back. And now to get it, you have to go to your um, controller settings first. To go to settings, then hit, go to, con you should be in controller. Then hit general control settings. Okay. It's gonna take a little while to load. It's doing its thing. Give it a second. Ah, here it is. Make sure if you have this on, take it off. Because if you have it on, it's gonna have connect, correct controls in the thing. So that so now it does back. But if I do this, but but if I go back to settings, general control settings, okay. If I take it off then B will be my select and A, but then in the game, so basically as you can see, look, I'm gonna press B for select, and now it's on A for select, but you do want that off, so in Fortnite, your controls will be correct for the Switch Pro controller. Also, it's the same as Xbox, except the controls are swapped, and the Fortnite thing will be weird and it will be unlike any controller. All the controls are the same, but you wanna make sure to have that. This is the thing here. Just hit identify. You should feel a vibration. Yeah, and then go back. You have this, remember to turn this off, boom on off okay so now you have your controller so right now your back is a so hit a back and then what you're gonna want to do is hit okay here you're done there you want to have you have to enter big picture mode in order to do this this is how you get the game set up so you should have your game loaded already as i said so you want to enter big picture mode it should be doing its thing see this you can just like Hit escape, and now I'm in my controller mode. So you wanna hit library B because B is select, because you should have that 
setting off Nintendo Switch buttons so the Fortnite will be correct. Then you hit B again, you slide over to play, hit B. It shouldn't go back to the thing. If it does, then you, something is wrong and it's not working. The layering is not going correct. And that I don't know how to fix because that happened to me before on, on something else and it didn't work. So that's why I'm doing it here. So you want to click Fortnite with your mouse. Then it'll do this. It's going to do this for a second. You want to make sure to have your own controller. The blue light should be on. Don't click anything once you're back here. It's tempting, so you should just put your controller down and eat some food. No, no. Wait for it. Controller's still blue. As you can see, you're just waiting for Fortnite. Now it popped on the screen. I have my controller. And you see, if I move this and the mouse is not moving, that is good. That's a good sign. And it says config loaded on my screen. That means it's correct and it's ready. So when I get in, I'm gonna show you that the Fortnite controls are actually correct you, since you turned the setting off. Because if the setting was on, they're gonna be different. So watch, your mouse just went away. Now you have no mouse. And look, the best thing is A. Look, and watch this, you can use your mouse, you can change back. B to play, and then once you get into the match match, it'll be right. So A close. So right now, I it's Y and X are correct. It's just B is different. So X is still ready up, A is back. Like these things are still the same, like switching, like. A is back, B, A is back, B, A is back in the item shop. It's still different, but once you get into the game, it'll be correct. So I'll show you that right now. So X is correct, but you see if you press B, it'll do A and it'll bring you into this thing that says B close. So if you hit B, it's not gonna do anything. The A for close, and then Y. You have the X to play. As you know, X is always play on Switch. Just think about it like Switch controls for X and Y. But A and B are what's Switch. A and B are Switch. They look correct, but they're switched. The opposite for Y and X. They look wrong, and they're but they're correct. So once you get into the game, they're gonna say wrong things. It says B is build mode, but watch this. I press A and I'm in build mode. It says B edit. This is the A button right here. Edit. A confirm. And you got B is jump, not A. Everything is working. So once you get into the real game, it should work. That, because if you hit A, it's not gonna do anything. It's like this. I don't even know where I'm landing. Lazy lakes. So basically everything's pretty simple. You just have to get used to the fact that like it's different. And once you get used to that, it's actually really easy. So you just need to like, so basically it says X to pick up, but you're really just pressing Y. Same thing, pickaxe, it's all the same. The pickaxe thing is the same. It says X again, I pressed Y, it worked. Y, it says X. Now, to pick something up, let me find something. It says X, Y. Now I need to find what's X. Okay, pickaxe says Y, right? Everyone sees that. Hit X, it does it. And when you go to shoot the weapon, it does it all correctly. It's correct. I'm gonna show you like just gameplay. Okay guys, basically, it behaves exactly the same way on Switch, as you can see. I really hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time, and bye.